Okay, so what we have right here is what we call an oopsie. We, we said the walls were gonna go up this week. I mean, it's up. What more do you want? Attached? Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we're working on a renovation on a 1956 Calcraft. Um, this week we posted a short video that showed how we raised our Harbor Freight car canopy up a little bit. So if you're uh, interested in seeing how we added these little leg extensions, go ahead and uh, click back and watch that. But otherwise, we're gonna try to do a little work on the walls and try to get them on this deck this week. But the first step there is gonna be filling some nail holes with our handy dandy wood filler here. We're gonna fill those nail holes, we're gonna give it a sand, and at this point, I'm still thinking I'm gonna put at least a couple of coats of the polycrylic on the walls just to uh, kind of minimize some of the work I have to do later. First step's gonna be moving this camper, camper, what will be the camper. Move this a little out of the way so I can uh, set some sawhorses up and lay the wall down on it under here where we have some nice shade because it's another warm one, folks. Hey Google, what's the heat index like? Right now in Wichita, the heat index is 106. That's great, thanks Google. That's what I'm here for. Okay, so there's a couple things to do before we put the uh, polycrylic on. There's a little spot where my additional layers that I added to match the other wall um, are a little, mm, little bumpy, let's say. Uh, so I just need to uh, run the uh, belt sander just a tiny bit on that and make sure that's cleaned up. Then of course, you know, set any nails that are still sticking up. And then uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and contrary to what I said earlier, I'm going to take my little trim router and I'm going to go ahead and route out the rest of the door, the windows and the uh, spot for the hatch. And then uh, we'll be sanding the whole thing. Moving on to polycrylic. Okay, so what we have right here is what we call an oopsie. I uh, drilled a little too close to the edge, and that's fine. It's going to be covered up by trim, but uh, I, I don't like leaving it there like that. So I'm just going to uh, take a nicely sharpened chisel, and I'm going to cut that out very exact, drop that in and glue it. Even if it wasn't covered up with trim, it's not going to be noticeable. I always thought it's a good idea when you're doing uh, wood putty to go ahead and uh, run the air compressor or some kind of compressed air over the surface, make sure all the nail holes have sawdust blown out of them so you can see where they are. Uh, and then it's just a matter of taking your finger and squishing a little in there. Give everything a slightly damp wipe down before you start sanding, just to kind of raise some fibers and then let that dry, sand it. That should be pretty smooth and uh, look nice when you go to finish it. Hot. All right, well, that's uh, three coats on there. And, you know, I think it looks great. 
but if you look really closely you can see some kind of imperfections and more importantly when you run your hand over it you can feel it's not that smooth so I think I'm gonna spray sand it and uh, spray a coat on it tomorrow I've never I've never sprayed this stuff before but uh, from what I understand of it, it should work so we'll see how that goes since I've got to do another coat on it anyway I feel like I should uh, do something to feel a little bit better so uh, I think I'm gonna do a thing real quick We, we said the walls were going to go up this week. I mean, it's up. What more do you want? Attached? So I'm going to sand all this down with uh, some 220 grit just to make it nice and smooth again. Uh, wipe it off. And then I'm going to load up my spray gun and I'm going to, I've never sprayed acrylic before. Watched a lot of YouTube videos, which is how I learned how to do everything. And if I don't like it, I'll sand it back down and do something else. I've heard that you can thin polycrylic by maybe up to 10% just with water, but I don't think I'm gonna do that because uh, most of the videos and things that I've read, people just use it straight. You make a little bit of an adjustment to how you spray it because with it being as thick as it is, those droplets are gonna come out nice and big and fat. So if you're not careful, you can wind up with kind of a grittiness from what I understand. First step, sand. Next step, wipe. Third step, spray. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so after drying down, I've decided to do one more quick coat on it, and then I'm gonna call this wall done. Really happy with how that turned out. I think spraying's the way to go with this stuff. So I'm gonna go change back into my painting clothes and uh, get to work. It's so weird, I let go. Okay, so the sprayer worked pretty well. Um, I had a little issue with clogging about halfway through, so I don't know if that's because it's like 100 degrees out here right now, which uh, I know is not the ideal temperature for spraying anything, especially acrylic. So I'm going to uh, call this finished on this one, and I'm going to move on to the other wall. And uh, you don't need to see that again in its entirety because you've seen it once. So I think the thing to say is new videos come out every Sunday. So make sure and like and subscribe and we'll see you next week. Cue up the music. Do a time-lapse montage here.